14. Nobody's in here yet. We need to get a move on. Um, just trying to get the kids organized. I, oh, Andrea's presents are still all there. I need to find a place for them. Uh, just packing snacks and water bottles now. Uh, fridge snacks. The afternoon snacks are always put in their bags. Morning. Oh, did you change? Did you want long trousers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a bit chilly in the mornings anyway. Right. Yeah. Love you. Right, let's get breakfast. Um, unfortunately, this was a substitution, but they look pretty cool, so I'll just put Nutella in them, okay? Guys, this might just be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna believe why. River Island just sent me four, I think it was four, pairs of mom jeans. Look at this. Look at this. All of these to try. Thank you so much, River Island. You have no idea how much this means to me. So for those of you that don't know, I have this pair of River Island jeans that I bought a few years ago, only about two years ago now. These are them. Every single time I wear them, I get compliments, mostly from you guys, like mostly online. Um, let me just rest you guys here. Um, but when I got them, I got them in February 2020, and I got them in a bigger size um, because I was in recovery and they fit well actually they were tight when i got them they were really tight and then as i my weight kind of started to stabilize um i started to fit into them more why does it look like there's okay well there's stuff on the bum which is <laughs> it looks questionable but i think it's just highlighter and maybe food i'm not really sure i might have sat on some chocolate or something it's definitely not poo <laughs> But I think this highlighter and then something else. Anyway, they're really cute jeans, but I can't find them anymore. I don't even know what they're called. Does it say? Um, I don't think it says it anymore. Maybe it says it on the label. Uh, it just says the size. No, it doesn't say the style, but anyway. They're old. I like how they're, I like the wash. They're kind of like an acid wash, but now they're too big and they just, like I still will wear them, but I wish that the top, like they were, I remember how they fit when they started to fit me properly. It was like they were tight up top or like not tight, but snug up top. And then um, kind of would like taper at the bottom and into like a more relaxed fit. Well, in my size and they sent me lots of different options so let me put you down a little bit because I feel like you're a bit too high one second one second I can't figure this out okay there we go all right so I'm just wearing normal skinny jeans right now which I've kind of just gone off like I know everyone's like oh skinny jeans aren't in anymore and in the beginning I was like no way I love my skinny jeans but now I'm kind of falling out of love with them I mean, I still like them. Don't get me wrong. There's a time and a place for skinny jeans, but the mum jean is like so in right now and I actually do really like them. So let me try these all on. They're all carry high rise mum jeans, every single one of them. So there's these, which have like a bandana print in the rips. There's oh my gosh, these, which are slightly more I don't know how I would describe these. They're like a light wash. They're, they're less, they're, they don't have like an acidy wash to them. Um, rolled up ends, all of them have rolled up ends. These ones, I feel like these are really cute, but I don't know if these are gonna fit because these I compared 
the sizes of all of they're all the same size but i compared the waistbands this one's really narrow and i remember seeing reviews online and i think it was these ones that people were like you need to get these size up but if i like them then i know which ones to get and they, then these have no rips in them at all and they're in a lighter wash so let's see let's see what our favorites are join me for a try on haul so these first ones oh my god are the bandana ones i remember when I was like 11 or 12 and my friends and I did like a dance routine to um, Bewitched, a Bewitched song, I can't remember which song. Um, and we wanted to wear, we wanted to do the routine wearing dungarees and <laughs> dungarees, I think it was like dungarees with like one half down and then a bandana much like the one in here um, around our boobies, even though we didn't really have boobies at the time. Needless to say, <laughs> the routine was scrapped by the school. We weren't allowed to, or maybe we did it, but we, anyway, we, weren't, we were not allowed to dress that way. <laughs> it was like literally a bandana tied around here and then like an open dungarees. Anyway, we didn't do it. So, um, oh, I like these though. I, so, but the thing, what I was gonna say is that the dungarees or the dungarees, the bandana just reminds me of that. And I'm a little bit like, hmm, I'm not sure. But let's see in the mirror. Let me show you in the mirror. Um, they are cute though. This is the bandana pair. I think if it weren't for the bandana, I would be more in love. It's just like, is it really me? I don't really know, but I do love the wash. I love the fit of them. And I love the um, the style as well. Okay, so that's number one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like these. Okay, these have a high, oh, I like the waist on these. These have a higher waist than the last ones. Okay. These are cute. I enjoy this pair very much. I like a light wash too. I know dark wash is popular because it's slimming and stuff, but I do like a light. Okay, these are cute. What do you think? These are slightly higher waisted, but I like them. Um, they're all regular length, by the way. I'm like a 30 leg, but yeah, these are cute. I feel like um, they fit really nice. I like how high up they are, but maybe I guess if some of you don't like like a super high waist, I do. But if you didn't, maybe this wouldn't be good for you. Maybe you'd prefer the others. Um, it's just got this rip here. So, um, but yeah, I like how it kind of hugs everything in. Gives me a little bit more shape, you know what I mean? Okay, let's try the next ones, which are, oh, the ones that will probably not fit. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, <sighs> okay, well, I got them on. They are tight. You wouldn't want to eat a big meal in these ones, that's for sure. But, you know what's really, oh, there's a hole like right here. I mean, do we like that? Do we not? Let's see. Let's check it out in the mirror. Okay, well, you know what though? I think these are my, <laughs> aside from them taking a while to get on, I feel like these are my favorites because I like the wash. It's the right amount of acid wash for me. Um, this is a little gapey, but you know, I think we can kind of forgive that. We're still cool. We're still cool enough to rock it a hole in our trousers um no i do actually oh my gosh look the bum it's got this like little line here and the pocket as well i don't know if you guys can see it on the pocket there's like a i mean i guess it's called a seam not a line but you know what i mean and here kind of just like and this as well it just all hugs or like um contours the bum nicely i do really like these guys I'm not gonna lie, I know they were hard to get into, but maybe with a bit of wear, they'll get a bit easier. 
Um, but yeah, these ones, these guys, definitely the waist is, but then the waist, it's up high, so I'm not sure. Like, the higher, usually the higher the waist, the tighter, because your waist typically, I mean, I'm like a rectangle, but typically your waist does go in a little bit. And mine does, but it's not like as much as like, like the ratio is not as big as say an hourglass shape or um, a pear shape or something with a smaller waist. I just, I'm like a block of cheese, basically. <laughs> the frayed edge at the bottom. I don't know what it is, but I, something about it. And I have, I think, Actually, I think I got rid of most of the ones that I have like that, but I do have jeans like that and I just, there's something about it. It just annoys me that it's not finished, but these are turned up at the ends and it's just a different style. Like it's just a different look. Otherwise they would all look exactly the same. So I can appreciate that. And some people really like the frayed edge. Okay. So these are looser fit. Nice. They're like a comfy, comfy jean. You know how I could actually, okay, here we go. This is what I'm going to do to solve this problem. I'm going to roll them a second time. I'm going to do a slightly smaller roll and roll them a second time. And then I don't have to, I mean, that roll wasn't great, but you get the idea. Okay. So what do you guys think? What were your favorites? These are cute. They are a little bit, they're almost like a dad jean. You know, like really quite, like quite loose. Because mum jeans, I feel like, I mean, they're all mum jeans technically, but the the mum jean technically, I feel like is a higher waist with um, a bit more like structure to the waist and it like pulls you in. And then um, it goes out. Like it's it's like a looser fit towards the end and then you roll them up. Or you don't like the, I think the first ones I didn't roll up, um, but you know what I mean? It's still got that kind of like womanly shape. Whereas a dad jean is more just like straight. I have, like I said, a straight body shape anyway. So I feel like these maybe aren't as flattering because they don't hug me as much as the others. Does that make sense? But then there's a time and a place for these types of jeans. Like sometimes you just want to be really comfy and casual. These remind me, the fit reminds me the most of my originals that they don't make anymore. Um, but the wash of the smaller ones remind me more of the wash of the originals. So let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite? One, two, three, or four. They're all called the same thing, so I don't really know. High rise mom, high rise mom. High rise mom and high rise mom. Which one do you prefer? Uh, one, two, three, or four? I'm gonna go with three is my favorite. I did like the bandana ones, but I feel like it has to be worn with the right thing. And I did feel, I did, I did feel a little bit bewitched when I was wearing it like circa 1999. So, or 2000, whenever it was. But um, let's get Jonathan's opinion, shall we? Jonathan, would you like to um, rate my jeans? Oh, they look good. Do they? Do they? You <laughs> like them? Yeah, I'm just wondering. You haven't seen the other three, so you'll have to watch the video. You'll have to watch the video at www.youtube.com forward stroke Sakoni Jolies. I don't know who you were talking to. I was like, you were talking to the mirror, and I was like, she's lost her mind. <laughs> We do vlog for a living. Oh my. Jonathan? What? Okay, just put it down for a second. Oh no, it's not a spider. I thought it was a huge spider. No. I think it's just grass. Are they mom jeans? Yeah. But I feel like these are more like dad jeans. They do look a bit square or something. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Really? Is that what you said? No way! <laughs> anyway. More rectangular, I suppose, but like... Is that, what you, is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> We've been married too long. Guys, I'm slightly concerned about the uh, Iron Man. <laughs> what is he doing? There's one there, and then this one's mounted the other one. No one put them like that. 
I don't think. Did you put them like that? What? Did you put them like that? Like what? The Iron Men. No. <laughs> My friends. They just did it themselves, did they? Yeah. One of them looks like he has a goatee. The other guy's gearing him on. <laughs> Okay, I'm currently wrapping Amelia's presents. So Amelia, if you're watching this, please stop watching. Okay, girlfriend, I got some wrapping paper. So Amelia, stop watching, otherwise you're gonna spoil her birthday. But um, guys, I got her. I'm gonna show you guys what I got her because I don't think she actually does watch the current vlogs. Um, and also I feel like it's good inspo. I mean, not that I'm inspirational, but you know what I mean? It's good inspo if you're looking for presents for a 10 year old. So this is a letter E. Let's see if it works. Oh, it doesn't have batteries in. Okay, well, we're gonna need to get batteries in. But it's a letter E light up for her bedroom, because I thought, why not? Also, she's getting a new bedroom, eventually. I mean, I say it like as if we've made a plan, we haven't. <laughs> um, but eventually she will uh, move into her own room. And so she wants to like do it all. It's just a key ring, but I thought it was really cute. Amelia, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but she always goes around the house wearing a blanket because she's always cold, not always cold, but like she just likes to be snuggly. She won't wear her dressing gown. I don't know why, but she won't wear a robe or a dressing gown or anything like that. So I got her her own blanket, but look what it says. It says Amelia's snuggle blanket, which I thought was really cute. Thank you. What about the other thing? Hmm? See what I mean? This is her obsession. And these are all my like other characters. It's Amelia Anime. I'm sure some of you guys are into anime and stuff like that. I've heard the hour long backstory of them. <laughs> it says Shinobu Kocho. Yeah, Amelia understands it all. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway, that's her present from her dad. But it's cool because my dad never did that. Like, it was just everything was from my mom, really, but it was from both of them because obviously, you know. It was both of their um, money. But um, yeah, my dad, he just wouldn't have been, he wouldn't, it's not that he didn't care, but like, I think a lot of dads are like that. And even like Jonathan for like for Christmas and stuff. Although he is, he's good. Like, but usually like say for presents, he doesn't really know. Although, especially with Amelia, I feel like recently, cause she's interested in some of the stuff that like he's kind of interested in. Like he does take note and then he buys presents like from him and then she gets presents from me, which I think is really cool because I don't know, it's just cool. I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I mean, last year she got a I, uh, iPhone iPod, an iPod. Um, I'll be honest, she doesn't use it that much. Like she'll use it sometimes if we go out, but, and it was kind of like a, re a phone replacement or like a, not replacement, but like the compromise before a phone. Now she loves her Mac, MacBook? No, is that what it is? No, a MacBook is a laptop, isn't it? I'm at, no. What's it called? <laughs> oh my God, what is it called? Her computer. What is that called? There's too many things. iMac, iPhone, iPod, iPad. Like how are we supposed to? iMac, iMac, isn't it? So that's a MacBook is. I give up, okay. Anyway, so she loves that. She loves her computer. Um, and that was pretty much like probably one of the best presents that we've ever got for her because she really adores it and is literally glued to it like, well, as much as she can be. Um, 
it's replaced an iPad complete, like entirely, and it's replaced her iPod as well. So she got her iPod for her birthday, and then she got the, I'm just gonna call it an iMac, and if I'm wrong, Jonathan can like put text or something to correct me. Um, at Christmas time, and then the iPod just kind of got forgotten a bit, so that's fine. These things happen, but like, what I recommend an iPod for a nine-year-old, uh, I don't know. She did really, really want it at the time. So at the time, it seemed like a good present. Long term, I guess, like it was a lot of money for something that she didn't really use very much. Um, but maybe if she didn't have her computer, she would have. I don't know. I can't really say. And. somebody actually about something that I just remembered. Half of the children are in bed. We got a new pizza. We're trying out a new pizza company. Um, oh my gosh, and we're watching the best show ever. Shit's Creek. I think this is the first time I've sat down all day. That's not true, but it feels like it. You know when every single muscle in your body just is like, mm. <laughs> That's what it's it feels whole, like it's right a, now. It's the whole week, though. It's the whole um, week. Hi, hello, how are you? That's mine. I'm just gonna give it a quick run over. Oh. Yeah, no, but you've got anchovies in here, so yours are gonna like be more intense. Whereas if I just give this a little run over. In fairness, we got this from Monte for oh, I'm all back there. From Monte Forte. Guys, sliced, mm. actually cut their pizzas. Just saying, Monte. <laughs> You want to be sliced is amazing. That's my favorite one. Downside. But you have to go and collect yeah. it, and we're very lazy people. Yeah, you know. Maybe on a Friday or something, but definitely not on a Wednesday. I just love how he's taken my pizza slice. Pizza slice. Oh my god, my hand looks huge. <laughs> Look at my hand compared to me. That must be like a trickery of film. If you yeah, want to make it is. That's how they do like it, like in the, back in the Lord of the Rings when they first made Lord of the Rings. They didn't have as much technology as they would today. They used a lot of for like the giants and stuff and the dwarves and stuff. Giant hand. Giant. Giant. Oh, I give up. I'll just do it for mm. It smells epic though. It smells like a dream oh, yeah, come no, I think true. I think I chose it. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys. for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment and subscribe for more. And give us a thumbs up if you liked it. We've got a lot of things to do. And don't forget to ring that bell. <laughs> I never oh, yeah. say that because I don't actually know what that means. So sorry. Bye.